Hey YouTube, Zach here, down here at the Salamone Dam here in the, what is it, north central Indiana, I guess. Uh, I've never quite seen it like this before. Well, with ice, I guess. It seems like we got a lot of melt and it froze and then like on the other side, they're letting out the water like at a, 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 a huge amount at, at every few minutes, what do you want to say? <laughs> uh, wide open they're emptying this out right now and you can see where like the ice is falling because the water beneath it was you know left but i've never walked out here under this so i figured i'd take you guys along with me check it out might be interesting to some definitely some local people probably but uh just me and jenny out here taking a walk today it's the one of the warmer days of the year so far 40, I think it's like about 45 degrees today or so. Nothing crazy. Big flock of geese just went by. Uh, they were out of sight. I didn't. I couldn't get my camera on them. You could hear them really loud though. Pretty cool. But we've been walking around for a couple hours and this is like the first cool thing I've seen and I didn't really have nothing to talk about. So here we are. Like they put this path in here just this since it's been down so they can get out here and work i guess pretty neat pretty uh, just barren desolate looking out today <laughs> supposed to get really nasty tonight i mean so it was 45 degrees today and then uh tomorrow it's supposed to get down into the teens again and maybe have like inclement weather pre precipitation of some sort fish everywhere I've been seeing those come on oh uh, there's some more but uh yeah I it's one of the nice days to get out and actually do something Ooh. so me and the dog said let's do it here we are uh, you gotta take the weather you get out here in old Indiana because like I said, we just don't have the best springs and falls, I guess. Spring can be really rough. I guess it's not. I guess it's still winter, but... Bunch of dead fish down here. If I see those. It looks like some of them have been eaten on. I don't know. Strange. I wouldn't know what you call those little guys either. Some kind of... Huh. Doesn't look like a crappie. Yeah, I don't know what those are. We should see how far we can get out here. See the front of this thing. I don't know what this orange thing across the water is either. So if you happen to know that, please inform me down below. Uh, I don't know. Trucks. It's busy up here today. You'd never think it, but every poor, everywhere I've been, there's people like following right behind me. It's Saturday though. Look at how thick that ice is. Wow. Come on, Jenny. I wonder what's in that building. Just like a, it's just the valve shut off, I believe. Lets the water out into the other side to the river. Oh, you kind of hear it. That might be something else, I don't know. Ooh, be careful of that glass, Jimmy. You can see the front of it. Burry! That wind's picking up a little. Let's walk around to the back here. Yep. <laughs> this is Indiana. At the end of February, guys, just kind of blah. Yeah, that's wild. There's a, there's a drum fish. I know what kind of fish that is. A lot of dead fish. Haven't fell down today. Hopefully I just didn't jinx, jinx myself.
hopefully this is smooth footage. I left my monopod in the van. Yeah, not the most interesting thing that I could be making videos about, but you know, when you're trying to be cheap and not spend a bunch of money here at home, there ain't a whole lot of things you can do. <laughs> so, you know, you put a little gas in the van and you come out here to walk around on one of the better days. <laughs> you know, well, there's an old Coke bottle glass broken. Watch your paws, Jenkins. Salamone. These dirty rocks. It's just the water line, I guess, then, huh? Must be. Well, it have to be. <laughs> Can you get over this okay, little dog? I hope so. It's crazy how dirty these are, comparatively. Oh, built in 1965. Maybe I'll put a little information card up. About this place. And uh, just so you know what's going on. This is just a huge floodplain down here and uh, for people to inhabit it. They had to build like three reservoirs throughout like this little this little area I am in the, I live in and uh, this is one of them but it provides us with a little bit of recreation land here that's you know great for you know getting out of the house and getting so uh, you know you the blood pumping we're not going any further to Jenny well okay guys I know this is pretty boring but this is what it's like living in Indiana. So, anyways, thanks for watching. This is Zach here with Savage Traveling, uh, trying to travel the world. So, uh, once again, peace.